If you're wondering where all the fog and smoke was coming from, why somebody left the coffee pot on the burner back there, and that's, uh, I don't think they've got it out yet. I'm afraid to light the old cigar even. Let me just take a, uh, a little time here to tell you where I've been since I left the show in 79. And as I said at the beginning of the show, people like to know personal lives of people in television and movies and stuff like that. And I have nothing to hide, so I'll tell you where I've been. Uh, I've always been gainfully employed, uh, even though you can occasionally uh, see me at the Berkeley Pier fishing and things like that. I never would have left to unless I had a job. My first job in, in 1979 was I, I worked for my uncle's laundromat in San Leandro. And that worked out real well. He started me off on the dryers. And uh, I didn't like cleaning the lints out at first, but then, you know, you get a hang to anything and it just goes along real smoothly. I fell down on uh, making change, quarters, you know, for some reason quarters were difficult for me to count out. And then the washers, repairing washers. I hate my hands, you know, the grease and the dirt. And after about two and a half years, I shook his hand and uh, you got rid of that job. Uh, it seems like a lot of my relatives have, have businesses all over the place. And I immediately went down to uh, a car wash in El Segundo, California, Southern California. And I worked there for a number of months. And uh, that, that's a pretty nice job. You know, my car was clean every night. And uh, I, I just couldn't take Southern California, though. And I came up, um, back up in Northern California. And, uh, and it's, the job I have now is where I work uh, most of the time, and that's um, my brother-in-law's uh, worm farm in Modesto. Now, I know what you're thinking. You've heard a lot about worm farms. But I'll tell you, after being in television all those years and the hectic pace and everything, a worm farm is just perfect. I'm a night watchman there, and there's over a million worms in this big box. And those little buggers are so quiet, you can't believe it, really. And, uh, you know, Every once in a while, somebody, a, a, a crazed fisherman will break in and steal a couple of night crawlers, but we haven't had a lot of problems down there, and I hope to continue on in that capacity. And this, this television thing is it's just a one-time shot tonight, but it's nice to, to let you know uh, out there what I've been doing, and maybe you could write me a letter and tell me what you've been doing since 1979, okay? Now, one of the things in payment for doing the show tonight, another one of my relatives, has discovered a new power tool. This is the first time advertised on television, and I'm able to bring this to you this evening. And if you could buy one of these, it would sure help me out and also Uncle Merle, okay? New, 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 from Bifco Enterprises. It's a Diffie Repair Pal. Fixes anything you can break. <laughs> this amazing tool works like magic to weld to pieces of wood. Presto, and look, no ugly seam or line. Torn tissue? No problem. The Jiffy Repair Pal does all your mending chores for only pennies a day. Uh oh, broken light bulb? Don't throw it away. Fix it today. Make all those runny, messy glues totally obsolete. Give new life to crushed containers with this nifty tool. So get the Bifco Jiffy Repair Pal available now at hardware and variety stores everywhere. Makes a great gift. They're available at all white front stores. And uh, also, I'll give you the phone number during the next break where you can order one and the operators are standing by. And my God, this, this building is on fire or the fog is rolling in here. And uh, we'll get back to our movie. And then a little bit later, we'll have the winning lotto numbers that we talked about earlier, okay? To the mature theme of this film, parental discretion is advised. 